Hello Kerbinauts, today I'm going to show you how to get to other planets efficiently and what to aim for as a beginner at interplanetary travel. I use mods, but they won't affect this tutorial, so don't worry about it, it's very stalker-like anyway. So let's begin. So let's start with the vessel. This is probably the most important part of your mission. It's the thing that will get you there and back. And it's, it's going to be what get, um, keeps your turbinauts alive too, so that's very important. So. For interplanetary vessels, you don't need big, huge, beefy engines made to get you out of the atmosphere. They may look like big and powerful, but in the atmosphere, or out of the atmosphere, they're weak. They're not efficient. You need something like this, a nuclear engine. It's a low thrust to weight. Burns take a long time, but it's very, very efficient. Like, check this out. Let's take off our lander right now, and look at the delta V on this engine alone in the vacuum. It is... 5,435 uh, meters per second of delta V. That is an insane amount of delta V for a vessel this size, and that's why I love this engine. A lot of people try to add a ton of nuclear engines because they want that high thrust to weight, but really, you don't. You just need one, unless your vessel's like huge and you add like a lot. But there's a balance. Sometimes one engine is better than two. So, I have an orbiter slash lander configuration here, but you don't need that. Like, you can just have a flyby, or like, uh, if you don't plan on coming back, which, if you do, like, what's wrong if you bring your turbos back? Like, they're gonna be sad and die, but other than that, this is your interplanetary transfer stage, and on the lander, just put, like, what you would to put, like, on a moon landing, or whatever, depending on the planet you go to, you go to or the moon. So I'm going to Duna, so I just need a small engine and parachutes, and that's pretty much it, and docking ports, but... It's whatever floats your boat. This is just the general specifics for big vehicles. And if you want to do space stations or big heavy stuff, you're usually going to need a transfer stage, which is like something like this size with like eight nuclear engines. Or if you have like mods like Far Future like, or Near Future, you're going to have like a big like cryogenic engine or just big in, a big efficient low thrust weight engine or high thrust weight, which is pretty rare but can happen. And also... Um, I'd recommend just um, don't worry about how your vessel looks. It doesn't need to be perfect. Like this thing doesn't look good, but it doesn't need to be aerodynamic, you know? Um, just whatever floats your boat, just wh whatever will fly. And the bottom, oh, this is all in a fairing, so we can put the fairing back on. So, like, you just put your fairing on, you know. I'm not doing it very well, but we'll put our fairing on, you know. And then the bottom stage is just to get you to orbit. So, the this all this is just pushing you into orbit, and it's going to be bigger because you're bringing up more. You're bringing up a lander or an orbiter or whatever. It's still going to be bigger because it needs to carry stuff to get out of Kerbin and away from Kerbin. So just build something you know and get into orbit. It takes around three thousand meters per second to get into orbit. And it takes a different amount of delta V to get to every planet or moon, so I recommend looking at a delta V map. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, but now let's move over to the flight, and I'll show you the maneuver how to get to another planet. In this case, it'll be Duna. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we're in flight. This is where you want to be. There's our stage that pushed us into orbit. We're done with that. So... The thing about going to a different planet is you usually want to leave on its transfer window. So, we are at a Duna transfer window right now, which a Duna transfer window is when Duna's orbit is kind of like, it's so if you were to draw a line from the sun to Duna, it would look about like, um, like 30, 30, um, maybe 45 degrees. I don't know, but it should... I just eyeball it. It should look. It should be behind Kerbin about, and it should be a little either to the, like a little bit to the um, right of Kerbin, so you can make your orbit big of the sun, and then can intersect around here, if that makes sense. But I'll just show you the maneuver. You don't really need to think about it that much. Like you can go to Duna really any time, except burning on this is way more efficient because, like, if we take a look at this tool transfer window planner, which you don't need, it's just a good way to take a look at your delta v. If we go from Kerbin to Duna, and let's say we go at the least inefficient time, it'll be like 20,000 meters per second delta V. And in transfer windows, it's like 16,000 delta, delta, or like, yeah, 
1,600 delta V. Here it's like insane amounts of delta V. So this is what you should really think about. So our first goal is to set Duna as our target. A lot of people forget this and they can't get it accurate. But setting Duna as your target is makes it so much easier. So now we're going to zoom out and we're going to prograde into a huge orbit around the sun. So let's just keep prograding and then eventually you should come into orbit around the sun. And you can use the moon to launch you in orbit, but that's pretty advanced. So I just honestly just prograde. And now you can see we're in an orbit around the sun. And we're just going to keep prograding. And you see these two white indicators, the closest approach, see them move. When they get right on top of each other, slow it down. And you should, if you're, and if you're on the same plane as the plane, you should get an intercept. So we got an intercept right here. But if you're not, you can use the normal and anti-normal to be on the same plane. And then you should just be able to get an intercept. But if you're not on the same plane, you will not get an intercept. So you need to be on the same plane, which is what these things do. They're very nice to use. So now we're here, right? But we kind of want to get closer than 28, um, <laughs> yeah, like, I think like 28,000 kilometers from Duna. That's not too hot. We want to be closer. So we're going to open our maneuver again. We're going to go down here and we're going to get graphical maneuver editor. Then we're going to come closer to Duna. And we're just going to, we're going to get it down. And we're going to try to get it down and closer to Duna and its moons. So yeah, it's just anything you can do to get this closer to Duna. Like you can correct it when you get closer, but like something like, something like, um, like close is just nice you know so yeah you can mess with it however you want but for me something like mm, this is pretty annoying to do but something like this should be or not this something like something here and then up and then down whatever gets you close like just mess with it you know it like, like at least we're closer than twenty eight thousand. You know that wouldn't have been fun at all to deal with, but whatever gets you closer. You know, and yeah, just keep messing with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get it closer, and then I'm just gonna uh, at like right here. I'm gonna just like move closer, and then look, we're like we can just and it's I it only add this maneuver we're making over here is only gonna add like like four meters per second delta v so yeah so now we kind of have a maneuver two maneuvers set up to get there you don't have to do the second one it just makes it easier but you can do that when you get there you don't have to worry about it so now let's head back to our ship we have our maneuver set out and now we're gonna have to burn towards it so we need to remind our ship to control from the capsule just to make sure and we're gonna activate our nuclear engine so now we're gonna get ready for the maneuver and we're going to warp to the maneuver and this maneuver is going to take eight minutes so i'm going to cut that out so if you would look at that we did our maneuvers we got to duna and on the way here we circularized and i think you know how to do that you just so you know how that um intercept we had where we curved around just right there on your apple apsis you just retrograde and you should fall into an orbit somewhat like this and you see how we're all ready to land we're here, we have enough Delta V to get back once we get rid of this lander, and that should be it. Um, um, thanks for watching, it really means a lot. This is my first tutorial, so if there's anything we can do, I know there's stuff I didn't talk about, like the Oberg effect, but that's more advanced, and I just wanted a easy tutorial to teach people how to go to our planets, and I hope this helped. It may not always be perfect, but just keep trying. Keep trying. It'll take time. Don't get frustrated. You got this. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.